This is BOL Radio. So earlier on on BOL Radio, Eleanor Hajalambi interviewed uh, Jamie Owen, but um, I sort of forgot to record it. Um, so we're going to do it again and I'm going to record it and then we'll pop it up as a video on our YouTube channel later on. That's BOLHS Student Media. That's our YouTube channel. So you can find us on YouTube and this will be there later on. We'll also tweet it from at BOLHS underscore radio. Um, and so the first question that Eleanor asked, Jamie, how long have you worked at the BBC? Uh, 20, about 25 years, I think, this year. And not all in the same place or on the same programmes. Uh, I started in London working for Radio 3. I worked for Radio 4. Um, I, then I worked for um, BBC Wales. Uh, then I got sacked. Uh, and I left and I went back to university and then I came back. And I worked abroad and all sorts of other projects. But altogether, about 25 years. Why did you start? Why? Oh, that's a really good question. Why did I start? I suppose I was one of those um, people who didn't really know what they wanted to do. Um, I'd done a, a history degree because uh, I'd loved history, but wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And I, I guess I fell into it by accident. I mean, I, I'm sure that you'll talk to lots and lots of people who have gone into broadcasting or politics who had a plan. Uh, and got to where they were because they had a a, a cunning plan. I never had a plan and I sort of bumbled along, I suppose. So I'm I'm in this because of an accident. I I never planned really to do Hmm. this. What's what's the most exciting and most interesting job that you've had? Um, I've worked abroad a lot, so I've I've worked in in Libya and Egypt and Jordan and Ramallah and places like that um, for an organisation called BBC World Service Mm. and we rebuild television and rebuild radio stations after revolutions and the fall of dictatorships. So you're shipped into a country that's invariably in the middle of a civil war and uh, you walk into a broadcast centre that's invariably been shot up and you start from scratch, uh, you mm. rebuild a TV station and you rebuild a radio station and that's, um, that's fascinating work, that's really, really interesting. But it's such a wonderful job that you know every day is thrilling, you, you end up meeting exciting new people, the stories yeah. change, so every day is, uh, is pretty interesting. Um, so that's sort of a little bit like what we're doing, because we're starting from scratch with this. What advice would you give to us as, we're, as we go along our merry way? Well, you've always got to be careful about listening to advice from old people, I think. It's often a bit dodgy. Um, I, I, th- I think the honest, straight advice for all broadcasting is always tell the truth. And I think you should always tell the truth and you should always be fair. So if you're running a, a story about anything, always, always tell the truth. Always tell the truth. Okay. Um, and what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you in your job? Well, there are so so many embarrassing so many embarrassing things that have happened to me. I don't know where to start, really. I think one of my worst moments was sitting in your seat at the moment, where I was uh, the trainee on Radio Four in London, and uh, it was the breakfast show, the Today program, which is yeah. one of the most prestigious um, broadcasting shows in the world. And uh, as you know, there's a huge, great big button on that desk opposite you which you can press and it puts the whole thing into re- into rehearse. Mm-hmm. So what you're doing isn't going out live, the desk is in rehearsal, or so I thought. <laughs> and um, we had borrowed the studio from Radio 2, and, and for lots of engineering reasons. And on the Today programme in the studio next door, the Chancellor of the Exchequer was being interviewed by uh, the great Brian Redhead, and they were doing a very important interview about the economy. And I was going to rehearse, so I thought, what was coming up later. And a bit like Mr. Bean, uh, with a desk in what I thought was rehearsal, I started pressing lots of buttons. And lo and behold, the desk wasn't in rehearse. And I started playing um, a Radio 2 CD (laughs) of Diana Ross singing Touch Me in the Morning. Right. Over the Chancellor of the Exchequer's interview. So um, the United Kingdom got to hear uh, the Chancellor being interviewed while Diana Ross uh, <laughs> uh, sang Touch Me in the Morning um, and that was yours truly. That was probably my biggest technical disaster I think. It, was a lot, it took a long time for me to uh, get over that. Um, so you've been with us for a few hours now. What's, what are your first impressions? Are we doing well? 
You're doing well. It's great. I mean, you've got uh, you've got lots of uh, enthusiastic people, and people get excited about technology and they get excited about new gear. But fundamentally, all endeavours come down to people, and you're only ever as good as the people around you. And if, if people are motivated and they're happy and they want to work hard, um, they'll do well, and uh, you'll do well. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jamie. Thank you.